So now I'm gonna show you one of my signature dishes, my porchetta, and that uses my actual porchetta rub. It's a collaboration with a local sea salt company called Heps, and it's all natural, fresh ingredients. You know, a lot of people don't know that salt has anticoagulants and chemicals added to keep it from uh, bunching and clumping up together, and this is all natural, and it really changes and affects the flavor of the food. So, first thing I've got here is my pork loin. Um, this is uh, fresh, local pork loin from local pig. And what I'm gonna do is just tie it with some butcher's twine to really keep it intact while it's cooking and, and let it hold its shape and helps uh, with cooking it evenly. With porchetta, I really like to do uh, different cuts. Uh, typically, I'll do a belly wrapped around the loin, but um, I've cooked whole legs. And porchetta it is just an Italian pork roast. The seasoning mix has a lot of fresh ingredients uh, which I've adapted into dry ingredients for the spice rub, but I'm gonna show you how you can take that spice rub and enhance it with some of the fresh ingredients that are part of the recipe. So we've got our nice roast here. What we wanna do is add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil just to coat it, and that's gonna help the spice rub adhere to it. In this spice mix, there's uh, fennel seed, there's fennel pollen, Calabrian chili flake, garlic, lemon zest, rosemary. It's really a delicious, fragrant recipe. And then what I'm gonna do is add, again, some fresh ingredients to enhance the flavor of the rub. So there's already some rosemary in there and I'm gonna just add some fresh rosemary to it. I'm just gonna chop that up nice and fine. I'm gonna add some fresh garlic. So this is a nice fresh spring garlic that I like to work with when it's in season. Garlic typically uh, grows in the springtime and, and then it's cured. So when you see garlic at the store and it's dry, like this, it's because what they do is they take fresh garlic and hang it, and it, it's called curing. So this is the fresh form before it's actually cured, and it's much more fragrant, a little bit less intense. It's an incredible taste. So I prefer to always use nice fresh spring garlic when it's in season. And I'm gonna combine my rosemary, my garlic, and some fresh lemon zest. When you're zesting lemons too, it's really important to only get the zest. Uh, the white part underneath the, the zest is called the pith, and that tends to be very bitter. So you see I'm just going around and getting all of the zest off, just a couple shots at a time here. So now I'm ready to roast my pork, and what I really like to do is incorporate the pork in my potatoes and make it a very cohesive dish. So what I'm gonna do is I've got some really beautifully locally grown fingerling potatoes and we're gonna cut these guys in half. We're gonna season them up nice. This with some black pepper and some oil and salt. And what I wanna do is lay this down as a base to roast my pork. And I'm also gonna cut some of this green garlic, some fresh rosemary, nice aromatics. And put all of this down in here in the bottom of the pan and this is gonna be incredibly, incredibly delicious. I'm gonna lay our pork roast right on top and then I'm gonna turn around and throw this in the oven. So our pork roast is ready. It looks stunning, right? So what we're gonna do now, cut the strings off. Okay. So we've got these amazing looking potatoes right here. I mean, what's better than potatoes cooked in pork fat, right? The idea of, for me of great food is just simple, homey, very cohesive flavors and keeping it natural and real. Even this roasted the spring garlic here is delicious. And all we have to do is carve up our pork roast. Look at that, perfectly cooked. It's juicy, my mouth's watering. <laughs> so what I like to do, since all the seasoning's pretty much on the outside, spread my slices out, set up a nice little board for our pork roast here with our potatoes, present it the way that it was cooked with the potatoes underneath. It's a great story to tell people. And we're gonna just put a little bit of flake salt right over the slices like this. And that just helps with the seasoning. A drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And that's it, we've got our beautiful pork roast right here.